people who don't want to disclose the truth are people with something to hide. One little group that said there's like two dozen people like the Washington Post said yesterday. Most of the crowds you only see once and then they have to leave. So there's been thousands here. Hey, brother. Oh, no, 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 no. They're going to pull over and give you a ticket right there, man. God bless you. We'll see you over there. Be safe. All right, you're awesome. Thank you. So what's happening is this is a big success. Hundreds of newspapers around the world, dozens and dozens of the U.S. are covering it. I wanted to get to one more point. Hold on, guys. We're doing a live feed. Watch out going across the street, okay? Okay, now, now, just to be clear here, that's what we're going across the street now to see if somebody gets hit. We're going to add this little piece before we go show you the big crowds here at the live streams we have at InfoWars.com about Glenn Beck's The Blaze. Glenn Beck's exposed Bilderberg Group, talks about Soros, we appreciate that. <clears throat> but he sees us as a competitor. So he said mean things that, you know, me and Charlie Sheen get in the shower together. Stuff you can sue him for, but he did it under satire. So I left it alone. It's clearly satire. Well, I did satire yesterday talking about, very dark satire, about all the roasted babies that are getting shipped into Europe and the U.S., the 30,000 pills you know, that was in the news a few weeks ago of, of brown babies. It's in a lot of the big cosmetic uh, maker systems. They took a snip out of it where a guy's driving through, and I go, no, he's probably just picking somebody up. Or, you know, he might have a as a kid in the back or you know they might be bringing them some roasted babies and then the cops were laughing and i said no i'll bet you ten thousand people really are trying to ship roasted babies to very rich clientele and that's my point elites throughout history do weird bizarre stuff a lot of these elites paul watson's doing an article that we're going to post this video at once it's archived we're live streaming now that goes over this the wars are killing massive numbers of innocent children. The carbon taxes, Lord Monkton's estimates are, will kill about a billion people under the Copenhagen uh, Agreement if it ever got fully implemented. We've got all these news articles that Paul's going to post where royalty, elite judges have been caught connected to child kidnapping and child sacrifice. That's mainstream news. Uh, the elites getting political dissidents' organs. The truth is humanity is being fed on. This stuff is real. And just like uh, what Jonathan Swift in 1720-something wrote the uh, famous piece about, hey, the Irish shouldn't complain about being poor and all the taxes. Why don't you just eat your children and do us a favor? That's kind of where I was going with this. But these are the type of people. In fact, the Rockefellers and others have been connected to really weird stuff. Francois Mitterrand was into the occult. Tony Blair, that's all the mainstream news. Uh, Rothschild Castles have had a lot of weird stuff going on at them. So I know that if you profile these type of people, if you profile this type of elite, that is, yeah, that is that is the exact type of group that is into this stuff. But their policies, they want carbon taxes, they want austerity to pay off their derivative debts. These are the parasites, these are the robber barons. Once you know who they are, you read the Wall Street Journal. We, we were reading this morning in the hotel, and it's like Bilderberg Group member, uh, you know, the former head of BP, demands Ireland uh, take all these new taxes to pay off debts that aren't theirs. And, but it doesn't say he's Bilderberg in the article with Peter Sutherland. Uh, or you read all these other stories about SpaceX Dragon. Well, that's all taxpayer funded. They're just handing our space program to them. It's not free market. They're just having it given to them. These really are the top of the pyramid, and they've gotten rich and powerful through cronyism, through monopoly activities. So I want to salute everybody that got out here. There are big numbers of people here. We're going to be doing a stream once we get down there in about five minutes. But... We're a quarter mile from the hotel or more, and there's just people walking up down the street. You probably can't see them just on a little U-stream, but there's about a hundred people right over there. After the New World Order! Yeah! Yeah! Again, folks, very, very exciting. It's all at InfoWars.com, but I'm glad that some of the kind of establishment libertarian type sites are attacking us. I mean, the Blaze really isn't attacking us. Daily Caller is. And I thought they were a Democratic comedy team when they said, hey, I heard Chuck Norris is here. And, hey, you're making money all this stuff. I really thought, hey, is this Democratic comedy team? And people said, wow, that was smart. They knew it was Daily Caller before they announced themselves. And their new, and their new nickname is Democratic comedy team. What Tucker Carlson, I didn't know that. But now that name is spreading. They're known as Democratic comedy team. And I was talking to high level conservative bloggers, about as high as it gets in the country, and they believe 
that Tucker Carlson is like a Democratic operative uh, shill, but, but that's a side issue. Here's my report on that subject. We'll be down there in the crowds. We're going to be talking to them. Uh, we're going to be talking to the people and why they're here. I salute everybody. Look, more folks coming constantly. Do what? I won't try to cross the street today. Oh, yeah, you got arrested. Yes, I did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This guy barely just walked on the side of the curb. Exactly. By the way, I talked to bus drivers and the bus company. Those bus lanes, you're allowed to park and drop people off, but they're writing out-of-staters tickets thinking you don't know the law. Hundreds of them. I mean, this is incredible. Red carpet for the tyrants. That's ridiculous. Red carpet for the tyrants. A fake book of tyranny against the citizens. Tell folks what happened to you. Yeah, so, um, I mean, as you saw, um, they they told me that I was under arrest for doing that. They said I've been told five times. I hadn't even been at the protest all day, and uh, I walked onto the you know, just come closer. Barely, yeah, I barely stepped off the sidewalk for a minute, and uh, you know, as you can see in the video, and I wasn't trying to test my limits or anything. I was just trying to go around the protesters there on the sidewalk, and get get back on the sidewalk as soon as I could. And um, as I was doing that, uh, officer came up and uh, grabbed me. They're already in, uh, blocking the entire lane of traffic off. Uh, the police were, and uh, so therefore um, they, they were trying to charge me with impeding traffic flow. And the only traffic. Bottom there, line, they slammed you around quite yeah. a bit. What did they do to you once you got to jail? Well, in jail, uh, they uh, pretty much are just using like trying to get me to just. They're treating me like I'm in the military, like I'm going through basic training, pretty much. Like you know, like telling me, telling me I have no rights, that it's their house and all that. And, uh, and I, I heard they strip search you a bunch. Oh, yeah, they just searched me like three or four times. Three or four times they searched me. So a little TSA of Obama growth down. Yeah. What else happened? Uh, I, I heard they hit you with a TB uh, test. They're trying actually, to, yeah. It actually has TB in it, and it seems exactly. that you have an autoimmune response. I know, and I denied it. And they said, uh, since I'm getting bailed out, they'll let me give me time to do that. But if I don't get bailed out by that night, uh, which I did, uh, they said that I was going to have to be... Well, did they force it on you? No, well, they tried to, but then I said, I will not take that. I refuse that. And uh, they said, well, we'll put you in this back room. It's in isolation. you got to just sit there by yourself. You get punished for not taking it. But I don't see how that's... All right, brother, we'll see you over there. Folks, good job being here. Again, more people walking up all the time. I'm told there's well over 500. Hey, God bless you. You know, the Washington Post said there were two dozen people here. We had 500 at one time yesterday. I, I, I really haven't seen most people the second day. Folks are coming through one day. So this is over 1,500 people that have been here the last three days. And I'm told there's over 500 right now. So let's just keep streaming. Uh, well, you know, let's cut this off so we can upload this as well, not just have it stream. And then we're going to restart restreaming again. Uh, Rob, is your stream working? Oh, yeah. Y'all don't forget. They're still watching, y'all. Good night.